Good morning. I'm Judy McCravey, and I want to begin by saying that I, a very good and joyful thing for me has been our morning devotionals from both clergy and lay alike, including our Advent children, who of course are our future and our present. I don't think I've missed a single one of those in the weekdays as I listen to it first thing before I hop out of bed each and every morning. So like many of you, what has brought me great joy during these past months has been the opportunity to be with my family. Four of my five children live in the Carolinas and my son, daughter, twins in Greenville each welcomed baby boys in May and June of this year, which now bring the total number of grandchildren in my family to 10. So that is certainly something to be thankful for and very joyful about. But if kinfolk are not close by, we all have the need for what I call family. Perhaps it's a close circle of girlfriends or neighbors or business colleagues and certainly our own Advent family. But it can also be by seeking an outlet for enjoyment and connection with books or crafts, letter writing, fishing, or just something that you're learning to do. There's a basic need as God's creatures for us to be social and connected, which is another reason why the online presence of the Advent devotionals each weekday morning has become so vital and so important to me. Joy also comes in the form of geographic locations, also known to many of us as our happy place. So that special real estate for me is Canuga, which of course is near flat, in Flat Rock near Hendersonville. And for many years, the Advent has enjoyed our parish fellowship weekends there in late winter. So I'm certain that this hallowed ground is familiar to many of you as well. You may know that my father was an Episcopal priest. And when I was just shy of my second birthday, we lived in South Florida and had heard about a mountain retreat which was magical in North Carolina by that strange name of Canuga. So from the early 1950s onward, my three brothers, sister, and parents, and myself would be eager to pile into the family station wagon to spend two or even three weeks during guest period at Canuga. And when we later moved to Columbia, the trek to our summer retreat was only three hours up the Saluda grade, which was a vast difference from a long two-day journey with siblings from West Palm Beach. So now in the Sterling clan, we are celebrating our fourth generation of my family as we continue to gather there. While most family spots and vacation spots have been closed during this pandemic, Canuga was fortunate to be able to open its doors under very strict guidelines. So my family, Again, four of my five kids, my oldest lives in Houston, was unable to join us, but we've been at Canuga two four-day weekends this summer in Cottage 39. And because of the required physical distancing and the temperature checks, we have spent our time exclusively with each other. Picnicking because the dining halls were closed, hiking, swimming, and boating. So as guest period now draws to a close, Canuga will take on a different flavor this fall, but you might want to consider a getaway with your family there. Michael Sullivan, who is a former deacon and priest here at the Advent, continues his leadership role at Canuga as its president, and we were able to visit with him there when, when we were vacationing in July. So for the past 60-something years, I've been a Canuga devotee, and it's where I can commune with both nature and God in, in an organic way, as you might say, by a hike around the lake on the Daisy Trail or headed up to High Rocks or being in their outdoor chapel or even in their Church of the Transfiguration. But having the freedom to be in a place that I love so dearly puts me in touch with my sons, my daughters, my grandchildren, and certainly my Heavenly Father, all part of what I call family. So I'm hopeful and prayerful that you and I can all be together soon, worshiping as one congregation under our church roof 
as treasured parishioners of our beloved Advent. But until then, enjoy your family in your happy place and know that we are all God's creatures and are loved.